What is inertia? We can define inertia as an object's ability to resist changes in motion. First, let's get a little perspective with history. We are going to go back all the way to about 350 BCE, to the time of Aristotle. Now, Aristotle was an ancient Greek philosopher. He thought that the natural state of all things is to be at rest, like these dishes. And a lot of people believed him because they didn't have the tools to prove it. Let's fast forward to Galileo Galilei. Galileo started experimenting and he refined the concept of inertia. Galileo did not believe the ball came to rest because it desired to be in its natural state. The theory of inertia says that an object's inertia will maintain its state of motion. So he was saying that the ball should roll on forever. Q. Sir Isaac Newton. Newton tested and proved Galileo's theory. He also thought that the ball should roll on forever, but it stops due to friction. Newton then came up with his first law of motion, or the law of inertia, which states, an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. We talked a little about this in our experiment, Falling Orange. So the ball is rolling down and it hit the plant and fell onto the grass. The force being applied here, the unbalanced force, is the ball hitting the plant. The plant is hitting it. That is stopping its motion or its current velocity and makes it fall onto the grass. Notice how the car is turning and spinning round and around. Well, typically, because of inertia, it would keep going forward. But because of the friction between the car tires and the road, it makes the car go around and around. This is another example of inertia. I've put a heavy book on top of a mat, and I'm going to take the mat out from underneath the book. And the book's still there. Um, I have filled a glass with halfway with water and um, I'm going to take this piece of paper I'm going to place it on top and I'm going to take this coin and I'm going to place it on top of the paper. So now I'm going to be pulling this piece of paper out from underneath and the coin falls in straight into the glass. This is because when the paper is pulled the coin falls into the glass. This is because the inertia of the coin maintains its state at rest and it falls into the glass due to gravity. Time for some extra vocab. Inertial motion is the measure of how hard it is to change the velocity of an object. The more inertial mass an object has, the more force is required. To understand inertial mass, I'm going to be using a shopping cart as an example. The lighter a shopping cart is, it is easier to push, but the heavier it is, it's more harder to push. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.